Bill Belichick is a master at taking away an opposing offense's top weapon. His legendary game plan for Super Bowl 36 centered around slowing down Ram star Marshall Falk. In Super Bowl 51, it was Julio Jones whom Belichick focused on stopping. On Thursday night, when the Patriots open the season against the Chiefs, the marked man will be do-it-all receiver Tyreek Hill. Hill isn't a household name, but this may be one of Belichick's toughest tests. Kansas City cut Jeremy Macklin this offseason, in part, to open up the number one receiver spot for Hill. That how much the coaching staff thinks of a play who was drafted in the fifth round in 2016. There's a reason such a talented player dropped that far. While at Oklahoma State, Hill choked and hit his pregnant girlfriend. He was kicked off the team and ended up at West Alabama. Hill may be replacing Macklin out wide but don't expect the 23-year-old to play a similar role in Andy Reid's offense. Hell have a whole lot more on his plate. Hill lines up everywhere on the field. On one play he'll be out wide like a traditional receiver. The next play you'll find him in the slot. Then all of a sudden HES in the backfield. And anywhere Hill shows up, HES a threat to take the ball to the house. He touched the ball just 138 times in 2016. That includes rushing attempts, receptions and kick and punt returns. He scored 12 touchdowns. That's a touchdown every 11 touches. Hill's best attribute is his speed. He ran a 4.26 40-yard dash at his pro day, and that speed shows up on film. It also strikes fear in the hearts of isolated corners, who are forced to give Hill a larger cushion than they give other receivers, and it still doesn't matter. Hill will eat up those cushions in an instant and run right past his man. Those big gains cause corners to back up further, even if it means surrendering free yardage underneath. A smart offensive coach like Andy Reid knows how to take advantage of the respect offensive backs pay Hill. This play design isolates the speedy receiver with plenty off-field to work with. As you see in the play above, Hill is much more than a speed merchant. He is handful to tackle in the open field. Check out this cut, which leaves the would-be tackler grasping at air and picking himself off the grass. Reed wisely takes advantage of Hill's running ability whenever possible. The Chiefs love to use him on jet sweeps. Any hesitation by the linebackers and Hill gets the corner and picks up a good chunk of yardage. And Hill is so fast the Chiefs' offensive line can leave the end man on the line of scrimmage unblocked while the defender responsible for covering Hill is also occupied. That gives the Chiefs a numbers advantage when they fake the sweep and hand it off to the running back on a perimeter run to the other side. Hill is the rare playmaker who can run around defenders, run past them or just run through him. We haven't seen a player like that since Steve Smith was in his prime. And even when the ball isnt in his hand, he affects the defense. He's the rare receiver who makes the players around him better. So how will Belichick and the Patriots go about slowing downhill? Their go-to strategy against dangerous number one receivers has been a double team, but it's hard to double a player who can line up anywhere on the field. You can't double a player in the backfield without compromising the entire defense. So New England may go the other way and let Hill get his while focusing on limiting the Chiefs' other weapons. Tackling will be the key to such a game plan. If the Patriots play Hill one-on-one, -on -one, give him that big cushion, tackle well and limit to him to a bunch of H-yard gains, Belichick will be content. Forcing Alex Smith to throw in two tight windows in the red zone has been an effective strategy for defenses in the past. It certainly worked for the Steelers in last year's playoff game. We don't know how Belichick will go about stopping Hill, but we know he'll have something cooked up. But there are so many ways he can beat defenses that it may not matter if Belichick figures out how to stop him in one area of the field. And if Hill passes the Belichick test, which has stumped many great players before him, do we really expect any other coaches to solve the puzzle?